good, everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today, we have another two-in-one WWE Elite Action Figure Review, and today it is on the Elite Series 84, Big Dog, Roman Reigns, and Jeff Hardy, two of these figures that I have been looking forward to for about a week. You know, we got these unveiled to us about a week ago, but I've been waiting on these figures to see what they look like for way longer than that. I knew we were getting these guys, and then when we finally saw them last week, I was super impressed with what we got, and I'm super excited to finally get into the reviews here, guys. If you would like to grab these yourselves, you can go over to Ringside Collectibles, use promo code MDTOYS to save 10%. At the time of recording, the new Ringside Exclusive Champion Cody, as well as AEW Series number 4, is up for pre-order, so definitely go get that in, but here's your front viewing window, big dog there, charismatic enigma over here. On the side of the packaging, you got beautiful images of both the talent right there. On the back, you got Roman Reigns, Jeff Hardy, you got a little bio read. If you'd like to read them, you can pause it now. Rest of the figures in the way, pretty solid wave if I say so myself. You got the same image of the talent right there, and that's pretty much our packaging, guys. So let's dive into these guys and find out exactly what we're getting with these brand new Elite 84 Roman Reigns and Jeff Hardy. So here's Jeff Hardy and Roman Reigns out of their packaging, guys, and uh, you know a lot of this, these are pretty much re-releases right, outside of a couple things we have seen these things before, but I know that we want to get into the details about the new head sculpts, the cloth t-shirt, the tattoos, all of the good things that are making these figures a little bit different, maybe some future fix-ups that you may want to do on action figure surgery things of that nature that I know a lot of people are going to want to know. How good are these figures? Should you pick them up if you missed out on other ones? We're going to find that out today, guys, and let's go ahead and start off with Jeff Hardy so we're going to dive into Jeff Hardy first, take a look at his accessories and then Jeff, and then we'll run it back and take a closer look at the Big Dog's accessories and Roman Reigns. So with that being said, guys, let's go ahead and get started. So for Jeff Hardy's accessories, guys, he does come with this Escape Normal shirt, and I really like the logo going on right here. I really wish it was a sleeveless t-shirt or even just a t-shirt with sleeves. I really wouldn't care. I just would really like a cloth shirt. I really like the font going around. I love this logo with the J and then the H and his face paint and everything. This is a really cool shirt. I just wish that it wasn't rubber because you guys know it. I don't know. The ones clasping in the back are definitely better than the ones clasping on the side, but it's still a rubber t-shirt. I just don't know how much usage I can get out of it. If anything, I'll probably turn it into a Ryback shirt. Like, I'll cut it right here and then cut it right here and just it's gonna be weird anyway I don't know it, it just I don't like the rubber shirts anyways another Jeff Hardy it wouldn't be a Jeff Hardy without fist hands and then his interchangeable signature hands before he dives off the top rope with swan Tom bomb but they couldn't give him mic holding hands yet still waiting on our mic holding hands for a Jeff Hardy please Jesus give us mic holding hands I think anybody that owns a Jeff Hardy figure will tell you we really need mic holding hands and yeah I mean that's that's pretty much all I got to say about that and then he does also come with his towel. This one does not have any designs on it or anything. It's just a regular towel, and you guys will just take it and port it into the back right here, which we've seen on a few other Jeff Hardy figures now. So that is pretty much it for your Jeff Hardy accessories. All right, guys, so getting into Jeff Hardy, I think the biggest thing is the new face paint and then the back tattoo, which we're obviously going to get into. But I like this head sculpt a lot. I like the, the paint looks good. You know, it's always, it kind of looks like an optical illusion every time, but I really like the white and blue, and it's kind of weird because I I made a face paint similar to this and it was like a fantasy attire. I'm gonna finish it. I kind of effed it up. It was looking really damn good and then I effed it up. I'm gonna have to redo it and I don't want to show it right now but it was very similar to this. You guys will see it later on but I think what would make it look better is if you painted the lips black. I think that would make it look a lot better but it still looks great. I like the blue gauges and the hair and everything like that. It looks like they did repaint the eyes from his previous figures which you know it is what it is. They've done the same Jeff head sculpt forever now but going down this is our second shirtless Jeff Elite. Third if you have the ringside exclusive but second if you're counting his tattoos and here is his new tattoo on the back guys and i gotta say again the only thing that i don't like is that it is missing the orange details right here on the bottom like this is supposed to have like orange shading all in it like the cross and over here and up here and i feel like honestly mine's like metallic are you are you looking at that like i feel like it's pretty metallic and it's not as blue as i feel like it is in real life it doesn't look bad or anything but i don't i don't know it's it's i'm glad it's there and everything but I felt like it could have been a little bit better. Not the biggest deal or anything. It's still there, which I do appreciate. On action figure surgery, we're probably going to add the shading, the orange shading to the tattoo, though. Make it more accurate. Maybe we'll add a little bit of stuff to this. Make it stand out a little bit. But overall, I like it and everything. But it is cool to finally have an updated Jeff back tattoo, and he's shirtless and all that. You got his other tattoos going over here. You also have his blue sleeves and his black sleeves. He still doesn't have mic holding hands, which we mentioned. White belt. Got the same black Jeff pants that we've seen many times, and the white and black kick pads. So that 
that is no different. So pretty much you're getting new sleeves and you have a new painted head sculpt and we do have the back tattoo, which is really cool to see. Can't wait to see what Jeff fix-ups we can do in the future, you know, with interchangeables. And yeah, you guys get the Jeff fix-ups are really fun to make. You've seen the Jeff shelf, but this is really sick. I like it a lot. And yeah, Elite 84 Jeff Hardy. And then for your Elite 84 Jeff Hardy figure comparison, guys, here is our other shirtless Jeff Hardy from Elite 57 almost 30 series ago. And you guys can see one's face paint, one's not. One's got black and white sleeves. One has the black and blue. The crotches down are pretty much the exact same, but then we have updated tattoos here. So there's that. But then on the other side, he does have this new shoulder tattoo. And then on the back, you guys will see the big difference here. And you guys can see what I'm talking about as far as the details in the tattoo. Like, yeah, obviously it is the new demon tattoo or the little big devil head tattoo, but I feel like it's lacking a lot of depth to it. And it's also missing the orange shading around there. But nonetheless, they look pretty much the same. I mean, this is more of a factory print over here, obviously. But I tried to get in there and give all the details that I possibly could. I also have the teeth in there, the white details and everything like that, which obviously are left off on the Mattel side. But still, I like both. I think it's turned out all right. I just think this needs to be a little bit, add some more blue tones instead of this like purplish stuff going on and then add that orange in there and I think it'll look all right. But overall, still like it. Still think it's cool and it is nice to finally have that added to our Jeff Hardys. But let's get into some other Jeff Hardy comparisons. And then for your Jeff Hardy face paint comparison, guys, we have the Elite 84, the Entrance Grace, the Elite 67 Chase variant, the Elite 71, and then the Elite 67 regular version. And overall, I like it. I like all the face paints we get. I don't really have a problem with it. I am glad that he has a blank expression like these over the yelling. I think the yelling is a good variation, but overall, I would much rather have a straight face. That way you can see everything and you can use it in different moments, not just him, you know, yelling and stuff. I think when I watch a pig fed and the, and the wrestler is like yelling the whole time or something like that, it kind of takes me out of it. I like it when, you know, it's like when they're not doing it, when they're not talking, yelling, it's not a big moment or anything, or they're not in pain or whatever. I like it to be straight faced and whatnot, but there is your comparisons for your Jeff Hardy face paint, Hardy Elite face paint, the Hardy Elite paint face. So getting into the big dog, the MDT champion, the tribal chief, the WWE Universal Champions accessories, guys, we got to start off with his t-shirt, the Wreck Everyone and Leave t-shirt. As soon as we saw this on TV, I really wanted this in real life. I thought about getting it and then... Then I, I decided not to get it, and then I was like, ah, it's kind of like the Stone Cold one, the Arrive Race Hell Leave shirt. It's pretty much the same concept. You got the Roman Reigns logo there. If you guys would like to see what it looks like on the Roman Reigns figure, we can go ahead and take a look at that right now. And I think that looks damn nice. I love the way that looks. I think it fits perfectly. You guys know that WWE superstars, anytime they put on a shirt, it's like they went down half a size, right? The arms always fill it out. They're jacked on. They, they, most of them have pretty big arms, and their arms always fill out the shirts. No different with this Roman Reigns really love the way it looks on the figure like god in heaven that looks great i've been waiting on a head sculpt like this i know that this is pretty much the elite 56 head sculpt just with true effects on it but damn it looks good i, I need more of this roman i need a couple more i know i'm getting some head sculpts done by bew that are similar to this we'll kind of see I, I think he's gonna pretty much make it like this maybe make the beard a little bit thicker and stuff like that but god in heaven that that's badassery that that'll get the that'll get the blood flowing you know what i'm saying got a lot of something special going on there young man but outside of his t-shirt shirt accessory guys he also comes with his hang loose hands or his Samoan hands or whatever you would like to call these you guys know the Samoa Joe the switchblade hands then you got the interchangeable fists it took forever to get fists with our Romans maybe if we keep saying that we'll finally get mic holding hands with our Jeffs right how long did we call for fists for Roman Reigns we also called for fists for Brock Lesnar and for Undertaker and I don't think we've gotten one for Undertaker just yet but we have gotten them with Brock Lesnar so maybe you know we gotta just keep pushing on it and then lastly he does come with the, uh, you know, the bigger hands. He doesn't come with mic holding hands. He comes with, like, the choke slamming hands, which isn't the biggest deal. I'd like mic holding hands, but, you know, it is what it is. And then he does come with his interchangeable head sculpt. Now, this one is like, this is what I've been waiting on. Like, I've been waiting for a pissed off Roman man bun head sculpt, but the only thing's missing from this for me is the fade on the side here, and then a thicker beard. Like, I don't want it to be one full length here, all full. I'd like it to be faded, similar to my promo Roman Reigns head sculpt that you guys know we made a whole video on. I want it to look like this where it's like faded on the sides and then it fades into the thicker beard down here even with sculpt. I just painted this but having a sculpted thicker beard will be nice. I think that's, that's what BEW is going to do for me but also the likeness. I see the likeness to Roman but he it just looks off isn't it? I feel like maybe the head's a little bit blocky or something like the shape of the head is off or something. It looks better over here for me. You guys can let me know down below. It definitely looks like Roman no doubt about it. I just think there's something off about it where it's either the head's too long 
or like the wideness or something. Maybe somebody can point it out to me down below or let me know, but something's off about it, but it still captures the likeness pretty good. If you guys want to add this to it, it's just like the other Roman that we got last time with the whatever the top talents or whatever it is. You pop that head sculpt off and then you'll just plop that on and that actually seems a lot easier than the last Roman we got, but this is damn nice, man. Especially with that Wreck Everyone Leave t-shirt. That is, uh, you got a little something special going on there, young man. So diving into the big dog, guys, starting out with this head sculpt. I love it. I think this is great. This is fantastic. Again, in a perfect world, I'd have the fade here and I'd have like a thin beard going down into the thicker beard and have this a little bit thicker because it was thicker at the time, as you guys will notice on the back of the packaging of this figure. But the big question on this figure is probably, you know, is the back tattoo included? And no, it's not, Brad. It's supposed to be like down here to a point and fill in all this back area. It is not there. It is not there. The rest of his tattoos are there. His gauntlets that are removable are still there in black, which is kind of funny because when I did my fix up, you know, current 2020 heel Roman Reigns, and I'm reviewing it shirtless because I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys are going to post this guy around shirtless. Of course, you do have his vest that you could also put on that is nice. It's pretty much a re-release of our last Roman, just updated. It's like a pissed off version of the one we got, and it's in white instead of gold. White stuff on the back, typical Roman vest with the big dog and the Roman Reigns logo, but I'm pretty sure a lot of us are going to be posing him around just like this. You guys saw what it looked like with the vest on. It still looks really good, but when I made my updated 2020 heel Roman, I did the same thing with these gauntlets. I just took his gold ones and acetone all the stuff off and made it into black ones just like this. So the only thing that I don't like is that the shoulder doesn't go all the way and I have a Roman to compare it to. So this is legit the Roman I've been using. The one on the right is the one I've been using. You guys can look at the shoulder. Look how the tattoo doesn't completely fill it up and that kind of bothers me a little bit because on his shoulder it does fill it up there and it just looks a lot better on this side and you guys can see this is pretty much a true effects version of this head sculpt over here and you guys can see the gauntlets are the same. The hands it's literally the figure that I've had for a few months now except it you know the face scan looks a little bit better which I do like so that is nice to see but as a as a Roman figure it's the same from the crotch down that we've seen with every other Roman I'm pretty sure and then you do have the Universal Championship that does not come with the figure but if you guys wanted to see what this looked like on here just to you know get a little get a little looky looky I'll also look at what the MDT Championship looks like on this guy but there is the Universal Championship on our new Roman right that looks badass man it just, it just Roman Reigns is killing it right now I'm proud of my MDT Champion and if you'll notice in real life the MDT Champion is the Universal Champion and the Elite Champion is the AEW Champion coincidence I think not I know how to elect champions and then for your Roman Reigns figure comparisons guys here's the new Elite 84 we have my little fix up that we made with the ponytail head sculpt that I got from Mike the Wrestling Collector with the Elite 56 arms and boots on there which looks really good and then we have my promo 2020 Roman that we made a whole video about but now we're gonna have to put the interchangeable head sculpt on here and fix it up a little as well as put the wreck everyone and leave shirt so I'm gonna put this head sculpt over here put the wreck everyone and leave shirt over there and possibly fix this head sculpt up a little bit make it look a little better and update that 2020 heel Roman Reigns promo attire but we also saw the uh, you know the, the figure that we pretty much already said you just saw the comparison between this figure which is basically that figure that we just got so there is your Roman Reigns figure comparisons but anyways guys I think that does it for our two-in-one elite 84 Roman Reigns and Jeff Hardy figure reviews guys thank you so very much for tuning in if you guys would like to grab these you can do so over at ringside collectibles wrestlingfigures.com use promo code MD toys to save yourselves 10% when you're shopping over there of course get in on all the AEW figures WWE new figures old figures Royal Rumble sale all kinds of stuff going on go check it out overall I think that this is a must-have figure for the Roman Reigns for sure if you really want to update your Jeff Hardy tattoo I would say so but it is pretty much the same as the Elite 57 if you guys missed out on that Elite 57 then definitely track this down because you can do a head swap and make him you know non face paint there's a lot of things you can do I know the Elite 57 was highly sought after I think as as much as like $50 or something like that on eBay right now if you wanted to go get the Elite 4 or the Elite 57 so getting this Elite 84 is probably something you want to do if you guys missed out on that figure I know that that one was highly sought after so I'm sure this one would be the same way and it has the updated tattoo so there you go you may want to grab that I'm a big Jeff guy, so I'd automatically want it. And I love Roman Reigns' character right now. I love the Wreck Everyone and Leaf shirt. It's the best Roman they've ever made. I'm going to go grab that thing. So there's that. I feel like they get better every single time with Roman. And we say, oh, it's the best Roman. Oh, it's the best Roman. Oh, this is the best Roman. And they just improve it every time. So that's nice to see. That's beautiful to see. But Roman Reigns and Jeff Hardy, both great figures. I really enjoyed it. Let me know what you think of them down in the comment section below. Before we get out of here, guys, let's get into our random shout-out before we get out of here. And this random shout-out is going to go to CG. Yagami, who says, my boy MDT, just used your code on ringside.
uh, two days ago. Hell yeah, CG. Appreciate that, bro. Everybody who's reading that should definitely go do the same thing because I'd really appreciate it. Using promo code MDTOYS at Ringside Collectibles. When you guys show support, it really means a lot to me. It means the world to me, so I really appreciate that for you guys to use that when shopping for your WWE figures. But that is going to do it for today's video, guys. Thank you for watching. Go check out my Rumble predictions and all the other ish. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you. And, uh, uh, oh, yeah, don't, don't cross that line thing. You cross the line, I've been...